Thanks Paul from Hobby Link International. Don't forget, subscribe button's down there, there's a bell as well. That way you'll get notified of all the future videos from myself and Kenny. Uh, today we're going to have a look at a kind of new re-released uh, decal sheet from Iliad Design. Uh, this one's uh, 172nd scale about their Twin Otters, but they did that sheet uh, I think 2015, they originally released that sheet. What they've done now though is they've done again, done it again, but they've added another aircraft to it. Okay, so let's have a look, see what's inside the bag. So we get obviously one decal sheet and two sheets of paper. As I mentioned, this is sort of a bit of a, a re-release. Um, the original decal sheet had five options. This one, as you can see, has six. And this Guatemalan Air Force is the new one. That they've squeezed on here. Um, basically they're given, uh, you've been given the uh, federal standard numbers where needed. As you can see colours ranging from bright red to mostly white, camouflage, green and one made up of gold grey shades. Um, they give you extra bits and pieces of information throughout to so you can get your build exactly right. Um, like this is gloss olive drab as against uh, matte um, short nose version of the aircraft the Ravel kit had both noses in it um, much too sure about the matchbox kit um, but I think it probably did, will do since um, all the basically everything started with the matchbox kit the Revel is a reboxing of the match matchbox kit and I think also another couple of people we box the match up, matchbox kit as well. So over the page, basically the other views that you'll need to get things correct, um, showing you more other details to get it right, such as the upper surface camouflage wraps wraps around the leading edge on the Ecuadorian one, and what to do with the um, with the wing fences. And then over here on the back we've got antenna configurations and right side window rescue markings um, so you can get those right as well. And then looking at the decal sheet itself, the new ones are down here. Um, obviously there's close to the um, high resolution pictures of this on the website. And there's uh, everything looks nice, the only things linked together are text to make it work. Um, this should be a nice uh, decal sheet if you've got one of the Matchbox or the Revell Twin Otters in your stash then getting this decal sheet might be a nice option. There's a wide variety of options here and it'll make for a, a kit that stands out on the shelf. And many thanks to Iliad for sending it along for us to have a look at.